Good Friday morning, everyone. I hope that this week has been a productive week for you, and I hope you're looking forward to a wonderful weekend. But most of all, of course, I hope that you are living your very best life in Jesus Christ. Well, here in beautiful Kanawha County, West Virginia, school starts for students on Monday. And for many years, this was a time of panic for me. <laughs> but from my years of experience, I'm sure that many parents and kids are in the last minute preparation for school by eagerly shopping for and organizing stuff for school, making sure they have everything they need for a successful start. Parents know that this time can be an anxious time for all concerned, as both they and their kids face a new school year with a mixture of anticipation mixed with uncertainty. And we're all aware that COVID has significantly changed the situation for this year. Many of the parents that I've talked to have admitted to being concerned about how well their student will be able to catch up and deal with the new school year, seeing how much they feel that kids lost in the last school year, in spite of the best efforts of some wonderful teachers. And whether they want to admit it or not, this added stress affects their child, no matter how hard they work to hide it behind what my son used to call my parent face. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier in the week, Landry has admitted to me that even though he is looking forward to school and meeting new friends, he is also a bit afraid. And if you think about it, often the transition from kindergarten to, to kindergarten is the first time many kids will be exposed to an environment where they're totally outside of their safety and comfort zone without mom and dad or anyone to be there in case they have a problem. For the first time, Landry will be in a place where he is unsure of everyone since the tried and true, trusted people who have supported him and love him are not there. And of course, we adults do everything we can to assure the little guys that they can face these things with confidence. Well, how do we know that? Well, we've faced these circumstances before, haven't we? In our grown-up wisdom and experience, we're confident that our children will be safe. And though they may be uncomfortable at first, that in a very short time, the uncomfortable and scary will soon become the comfortable and usual. After all, we've been down this path ourselves, as I said, haven't we? Well, everyone in Landry's life has made it absolutely sure, has made absolutely sure that Landry is well prepared for school in every way we can think of. We have prepared him academically, which he seems to be excelling. He's certainly emotionally and physically ready. We have everything he could possibly imagine. We've done all we know how to to get him ready for the big day. But as much as we may want to, we cannot step into that first class with him he must experience it himself in order to grow. I'm sure by now, since you know, this is a devotional, I'm sure you can see the analogy. In the same way we lovingly prepare Landry for his new experiences, so the Lord lovingly prepares us for what he knows we will face every day, and in the future that he can see, but to us is a mystery. He knows we must travel this path to grow. He has set this path for us if we follow him, and He's been there himself. He will guide us and protect us as we travel. The thing is, the scripture is very clear. He will never leave us nor forsake us. And no matter how scared or uncertain or occasionally bruised we may be, he knows we can handle it with his help. We just need to trust in him. That's why we all love that scripture in Proverbs, uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. <clears throat> in all ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Landry insisted, by the way, that we make him a couple of shirts because he has to have special shirts to wear for the first week. And he wanted to make sure that we made him a couple of shirts for that first week. When I asked him what he wanted on him, he said both must have a picture of, quote, him and Pop on it. <laughs> when I asked him why, he says that way will every, everyone will know who his best buddy is and admitted to me that he said it'll make him feel better. I guess he knows deep down in his little heart that Pop and Nana and all those that love him will always have his back. And as much as that's wonderful, we can't always be there. I certainly can't, nor can Nana or Mom or Dad or Grandma Deb or Grandpa Jude or Grandma Sheila. or none. Of, they can't. They can't always be there. We want to, but we can't. 
But there is one thing we can be assured of is that Jesus can. See, as we prepare to send our beloved children back to school, as we prepare them to face their fears and to them an uncertain future, as we shop for the right book bag, the right shoes, the right clothes, make special shirts, let's not forget the important thing we should, the most important thing we should equip them with, Jesus, our loving and gracious Savior and Protector. Let's make sure that as much as they depend on us to guide them, let's guide them to Him and the confidence that comes from learning to trust in Him so that no matter what they may face, either in school or later in life, they can face it with confidence that He will never leave them nor forsake them. In other words, that He'll always have their back. After all, they are depending on us to guide them down that path now. And we certainly wouldn't ever want to let them down now, would we? I hope you make today a fantastic day. I hope if you're getting one little one ready for school, I hope everything is going well. I hope to see everybody on Sunday, of course. And I truly, truly love you all.